Don't do this with bank feeds in QuickBooks Online. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Wanted to put together this uh, quick tutorial on bank feeds in QuickBooks Online and what not to do. I see this come up all the time and if you do it, it ends up making a mess that takes a long time to go back and fix in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so here we are. In the sample company file for QuickBooks Online, we are in the banking section. So I went to banking and clicked on banking. And here you will see the bank feeds. They've got the checking account, the savings account, and the MasterCard. So this applies to any type of bank feed that you have set up in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so you see all these transactions have been brought in and you see they some of them say there's matches, uh, two matches, and then there's uncategorized up here. Okay, so we've got all of these different things. And if we look at the credit card, uh, we've got a few transactions, same thing, uncategorized expense, uncategorized expense, so on and so forth. Now, what a lot of people, and this is the big mistake, one of the big mistakes they make is what they do is they will check off all of these and accept them or they just blindly go through and click add okay so if we go over here and you look at this if we click on add all right or again we're under the credit card you're going to see okay you've got some options here you can find a match you can categorize record as a transfer record as credit card payment etc and then you have to choose vendor um, account categories account same thing and you can uh, assign it to a customer now what a lot of people will do is just add and it goes to uncategorized expense that is not what you want to do you want to make sure that you categorize this correctly all right now let me go over to the checking account and show you here if we have an uncategorized income and you click add it is going to show up in your financial statements as uncategorized income. Now, if this is not income or to some other expense, you wanna make sure that you put it to the right account. Now, the other thing that people will blindly do is let's say that they have already recorded something in QuickBooks. So let's say that we have already added Books by Bessie in QuickBooks Online and we have put this in and it, it's an expense, has nothing to do with income they will see that it says add and they trust the fact that quickbooks online has matched it to a particular transaction so if we already entered it and it's not matching it and they click add they have now added it twice and you do not want to do that so you the key here is every time you go into your bank feeds you need to make sure that you select the appropriate action whether it's add whether it's match, uh, whether it's a transfer, whatever it is, the big thing is you wanna make sure that you match the transactions if it's already added in the QuickBooks Online. I see far too many times where people will just blindly add the bank feeds thinking that it is the be all end all and they end up duplicating transactions in QuickBooks. This match feature is fantastic, it's great, but it's not always 100% accurate. So you need to make sure it's matched to the right transaction and you don't add it a second time. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Just be very, very careful as you are using bank feeds in QuickBooks Online to make sure that you are adding or matching the transactions appropriately. See you in the next video.